Welcome to Market Influences on Business. Well, the market does influence business, and hopefully you have good influences in your life. For me, it's the weather. If it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day out, we're going to have a good day. If it's rainy, can't say the same. So let's see what are going to, what are factors that are going to influence our business globally, domestically, anywhere that business may be taking place. All right, let's talk a little bit and see what we've got as objectives. First, we want to identify and define key factors related to the economic marketplace. We've got competition, currency, globalization, supply and demand, trade, all those factors tying into our previous lessons. And again, everything's all connected when it comes to econ here and generally how all these apply to a business entity. Cool. I think that sounds great. That sounds good to you. Let's move forward. We want to identify and define market influences, economic influences, environmental, uh, governmental, political, legal, social, technological. Gosh, the, the list goes on and on. Uh, there's just so many out there. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Everything's going to in influence your business, especially in today's day and age with the, the internet, right? So many influences on business. We're going to talk about what you need to know for the exam in that regard. Next, we want to determine the impact of market influences on uh, business strategy, operations, risk. Remember, this exam is you have wearing the hat of someone who's you know, the CEO of a corporation, CFO, you're a business owner, uh, production plant manager, and all of those individuals need to know, you know more or less what is going on in most of these lessons. This is how you run a business. This is really, I mean, it's the, the business economic, right? All of, of this, it's important. So heck, it's going to help you start your own business one day, or at least that's a, how I like to think of it. Lastly, we want to determine the business reasons for and explain the underlying economic substance of significant transactions. Oh boy, we're going to talk about all of these. And I've got great real world examples for you. I think that's the best way. And that's how I would have wanted to have learned. And I couldn't get it, so I got it for you. Got some great ways to remember these for the exam. Uh, business combinations and divestitures, well, combinations coming together, divestiture coming apart, uh, product line diversification, production sourcing, uh, IPOs, all that good stuff. Some of it we'll go over, some of it we won't because, say it with me, I got here what you need to know and none of the fluff. We're going over only what's important for you to get you through as efficiently as possible. Let's get started. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together. <laughs> 